Thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Foos Custom Cadillac Eldorado. It's a 125 scale kit from Ravel, model kit number 85-4435. It's uh, rated a skill level 4 for the intermediate builder, but I think it's a little pushy. Probably uh, a skill level 3 kit is more accurate. It does require glue and paint. And it's widely available in the market as it is a new uh, release in 2017 and there were no previous versions of the kit. It's a subject specific build that has 94 pieces molded in white, chrome, clear, clear red, metal axle, axles and rubber tires. Now the, the decals are pretty simplistic with dash and some minor uh, exterior decals. The instructions are nice Ravel book format, easy to read. The build up is straightforward and the fit and finish is great with no issues. Overall the dimensions are about uh, 8 inches long, 3 inches wide and 2 inches high. Now this was one of the first projects that was uh, designed and completed by Chip Foose before he got his own shop. Uh, he called it the Eldo Rod and it was based on a 1948 Cadillac Eldorado which was extensively modified and had a 502 cubic inch big block Chevy engine. Now the whole frame was handmade and incorporates some suspension parts from the C4 Corvette. Here are the contents of this kit and as you can see I opened the box and uh, there they all were. So here's my version of the open box review and well you've already had that so that won't help you build the kit and that's what we're going to do next. Now remember we'll be using um, probably liquid cement for most of the construction, occasionally some super glue for strength and for clear parts either white glue or crystal clear type uh, paint. But as always please remember to follow the manufacturer's use and uh, safety guidelines when you see or hear any of the products here uh, in the review. So here are the decals for this kit and as you can see the uh, the gauge uh, there for the speedometer is really nice looking and the rest of the uh, uh, decals are fairly minimalist so um, that's uh, what you find on a Cadillac the smaller the uh, exterior objects the bigger the car looked. Now I would suggest you use some of the aftermarket setting solutions uh, to apply the decals especially uh, if you use the uh, ovals there and the circle uh, because it'll help the decals conform to the contours of the model and uh, help it stick better too. Grab these parts as construction begins with the motor. Then assemble the block, heads, valve covers, oil pan, the transmission pan, the intake, and the water pump, and paint those all gold. The exhaust manifolds are steel colored. Now the belts, oil filter, starter, power steering, and distributor are flat black. The rest of the parts are aluminum colored. And now assemble the motor and add the decals to the valve covers. We'll get these parts out of the kit and paint the floor pan uh, flat black and the frame is a satin black. Now the exhaust is steel colored with aluminum mufflers and assemble the floor with the exhaust between the floor and the frame. Then install the motor into place and make sure you scrape off any paint where you're going to uh, glue the parts together for a good bond. Now the fuel tank is painted steel color. Gather up these suspension parts from the kit and assemble the rear differential and paint that gold too. Now the control arms, torsion plates and the tie rods are aluminum as is the drive shaft. The brakes are steel and, the, and gold and the shocks I painted red. Now assemble and install the completed unit onto the frame. Get the uh, pieces out for the front suspension and we'll assemble those and then paint that uh, satin black and install that to the frame as well. Now for emphasis uh, again paint the brakes a steel color with gold calipers. So get these parts out of the kit uh, for the wheel assemblies and note that the front tires are smaller than the rears and so I always press and roll the tread on a flat piece of sandpaper about a 220 grit to give it a nice worn look uh, make the tires look more realistic. So after that insert a rim into the white wall and then slide that into the tire. They only install one way. Now grab the wheel assemblies and put uh, the axle or one of the axles through the front suspension and into the other tire and then press the uh, two front tires wheels together. Also do the same uh, for the rear uh, of course remembering that those are the bigger tires 
So once you get those pressed into place, um, then you'll have what we call a rolling chassis on which to build the rest of your kit. Go ahead and uh, gather up the uh, pieces for the interior and paint the, um, the carpeting uh, flat white or you can use some of the flocking uh, that's available or even embossing powders uh, to give that a carpeted look. And then while well, the seats are then assembled and they're painted uh, a brown leather cover, color uh, for the fronts and the backs of those as, as well as the console area which is also leather covered. Now the area between the seats and the lines down the console top are body color and on the door panels the top half is body color with the lower being the brown leather color. Now install the seats and the door panels to the interior tub. So now pull the parts out of the kit for the dashboard uh, including the wheel and the uh, column and uh, the, the dashboard is body color with some silver uh, trim and accents and the column is body color with uh, silver stalks and the uh, steering wheel is white with uh, silver um, pieces in the center. Now add the dashboard decals and then install the dash uh, into the interior tub. So now we can get all the parts out for the uh, body uh, to prepare that for paint and you can install the firewall and the grill insert first uh, and then add the uh, hinges to the hood and once you've got the pieces together, tape the hood in place, then go ahead and wet sand the body with uh, about a thousand grit sandpaper, uh, wet or dry. So remove any blemishes that you find on the surface and any of the light uh, parting lines on the quarter panels, etc. And that'll also give it a little extra bite for the primer. Once that's done and you've rinsed it off and air dried it, uh, prime the complete car inside and out with a good quality primer. And then again, check for blemishes and remove any uh, with that uh, thousand grit sandpaper and get that ready once again by rinsing and drying uh, to prepare for the color coat. So get your um, body pieces ready and um, in certain lighting this car's uh, blue, a dark blue, but it kind of gave a purple, uh, purplish sheen and I thought that it looked great on this car so I used uh, the radar blue color from the 98 Indy Pace car uh, and it's uh, a purplish bluish hue that uh, really stands out in this uh, custom Cadillac so that's what I used to paint it. Um, I would um, use some light coats first to just get uh, some tack coats onto your uh, vehicle and then uh, follow it up by successively deeper and a couple of wet coats uh, for a good glossy finish. After the paint has dried thoroughly uh, you can put the decals on. Um, there's just a few here. Um, the Eldorado scripts uh, on the side panels, uh, the hood arrow and the hubcap logos. Um, they don't take much uh, to uh, install and you may only need a little bit of setting solution on the script uh, that goes over the uh, raised uh, script on the body. Um, after that's done and they've dried overnight, give your uh, entire body a nice uh, clear coat in the same manner as your finished coat and seal those into position. As you'd expect for these older cars, there was a lot of chrome on them. Uh, and so for the trim work, uh, I used what's called uh, metal foil. It's a self-adhesive tape that has a uh, metal finish on the uh, exterior. You just apply that uh, like tape in strips that cover the uh, features you want to highlight and then uh, you tamp it down well uh, with a pencil eraser or a, a toothpick or anything uh, soft round that you can use. Uh, get that into crevices if necessary. And then you just trim it off with a very sharp, uh, in fact a brand new hobby knife blade and there you have it, uh, chrome trim on your model. Next thing we'll do is install the interior tub to the body. There's some tabs there at the uh, front and back. Uh, that locate the interior tub. Just make sure you scrape some glue or some paint off uh, before you glue the part into position for a good bond. For this part um, you're going to need to be careful. Uh, put something down soft, uh, either a cloth or something on the uh, and then flip the body over. And we're going to install the chassis into place. Now carefully you're going to have to wiggle the chassis into position by pulling the uh, side walls out etc and, and shoehorning it into place. Um, but once that's done it's a pretty uh, tight fit. You may not even need to glue that into position. 
be working with these parts uh, so get those out of the kit uh, the front ends and pieces and some accessories and then uh, paint the radiator hose a rubber color the air cleaner is body color and the master cylinder is aluminum and then install those into position and they're located locating uh, uh, receivers and then install the glass uh, using some white glue or clear glue uh, into place uh, and the bumper and and grill and the headlights with the lenses and the mirrors. Once again on the clear parts um, uh, use the uh, white glue or crystal clear. So get these parts and um, uh, assemble the uh, tail light lenses in into the tail light uh, bezels uh, with some clear glue. Uh, you can see on the right side there and grab the bumper. And then I like to uh, put a uh, personalized license plate on my cars. Uh, so I printed this out with a color printer inkjet and then I put a piece of tape on uh, each side of it and we'll be gluing that into position on the rear bumper and uh, then you can place the bumper into place as well as the tail lights and bezels. And uh, finally we'll be adding the last parts that's the uh, the up top roof and the glass and I painted the uh, roof flat white and installed the glass with some of the uh, white glue and then you can just uh, drop the uh, top into position for an up top uh, and leave it loose uh, so that it's uh, uh, able to be removed for display or you can uh, once again you could glue this into place if you like uh, that's your choice either way uh, I think uh, she looks pretty good well there you have it this stunning kit uh, is now an example of somebody's private um, custom vehicle, uh, namely Chip Foose, of course, who's a, a great stylist. Uh, and it really looks great. I think Ravel did a great job with the kit. Everything was crisply molded. None of the parts fit poorly. Um, it is a specific uh, vehicle kit. There's no optional parts in this kit. Uh, it's it all goes into building this particular vehicle uh, but once again you can make a real uh, a real show stopper with this kit uh, if you take a little extra time and and add a little customizing to it um, engine wiring and even uh, chassis detailing interior detailing would uh, really make it stand out so if I were you I'd buy one and put it on my shelf well we hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review and so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and at our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.